Okay, we're back now and we're at the model release section. Now you'll notice that this file right here is no longer black, or excuse me, no longer red, it's black. And that is because we have done all four things we need to do, which is as a title, a description, keywording, and um, having categories. So those are the four things you have to do to any image. However, if it's a person or there's people in it, you also have to do a fifth thing which is you have to put a model release. So um, there is a section underneath here, as you'll see up on the screen, called releases. Um, right here, you'll see a little button that says add new release. I've got some releases for some people that I've already taken photos of, but let's add a new release. So if we go to Wharf, which is my drive where it is, and it's called Steve Harmon Self, that's me. So I'm gonna add that to my to my releases. The nice thing about, about Deep Meta is once you have the release in here, you can assign it to as many photos as you want. So it's really quick. You don't gotta upload a release for every single image. Okay, so close, I'm done. I'm gonna go back to my images. I'm gonna find my Egyptian Mason Man vintage holding pipe in mouth and glasses image. Double double click that. Um, See the different categories, we already, we already filled out the title description, we've already got the keywords, already got the categories, got three. Releases, I'm gonna click Steve Harmon Self. Now you gotta have a model release for yourself, doesn't matter what the image is. So uh, if there's a person in it, it has to have model release, even you. So I click OK, that added that model release to that photograph. You could add more, if you have like five people in the image, you can click all these boxes. Okay, but we don't have all that, so we're not gonna do that. And we're gonna get rid of that and hit, okay. So, oops, I don't know, oh, that goof. I clicked the wrong one, see, see all the, you gotta be, you gotta be careful. So Steve Harmon self is the only one that we wanna have highlighted, hit okay, great. Okay, so this image right here is ready to go for uploading. Let me say one other quick thing. The keywords on this image are gonna be pertinent for a lot of different images I have. Now I've got this guy right here, who's kind of got a gun and he wouldn't have the same keywords exactly, but there's a few other images here I've got of a guy holding a pipe. So what I want to do, if I want to copy all of my keywords, my categories, my model release, even the title, that's if I really want to put all of them in there, you can do that very easily through here by going in here, right clicking if you have a right click or you can use um, control click and you'll see here you can put copy, okay? So then what I'll do is I'll find all the images where I have a pipe. I think it ends, I got the gun there, so it ends like right here. You can right click or control click and hit paste. So it'll ask you what things you wanna paste. The title, the description, the keywords, the category, whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna hit paste everything. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually, after that, I'm gonna go in here and change some of my, change the title. So I'll go back over to general. So let's call this Egyptian man. Uh, I'll just put Egyptian man. Uh, let's call this one retro. Um, thinking, thinking with. Oh, I put too many in, so give me an hour. Thinking pipe in mouth and glasses. Oop, let's let's do. Let's do a thing about thinking with pipe, pipe, and fez. Oops. Fez glasses. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't think it has to be a perfect sentence. It's just kind of whatever works there. So we've added it to this guy. This guy is okay. That means that also you're going to see here that these ones are black, but I still need to probably change the title. You don't, you don't want the title to be the same. So I'm just going to upload these two images so you can see what it is. Of course, you can see how we can add a lot more uh, copying and pasting, and I can upload a lot more images than this. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to the iStock photo area here, and I'm going to find those images. They will be in black. Oh, you can see them all here. They're under my Egyptian man holding whatever. So I've got these two images that I've done and they're finished. They're ready to upload to iStock. I'm going to use this little thing where you move them over and bam, check that out. Move them over to my upload area. Any of these images over here, they say to edit, I can't upload those, you know? So I don't want to really do that yet. 
obviously it won't work. So I can start my uploads now, which will have them upload right, one right after another. But one little trick here to remember is if you look underneath here, it says minimum upload interval. You can see this little area right here. Okay, I put it every 30 minutes. One thing I've learned what that does is if it's on every 30 minutes, what that'll mean is that um, if I even got like 30 images I want to get to iStock, I'll just let it go overnight. But what that does is that means that the the, the iStock, um, uh, uh, whatever, the people who, who, who approve your images, uh, the administrators, they will only, that, that means that you're not going to give all these images just to one person, which gives you a better opportunity to uh, get your images up online. I think this is just my speculation, but I think this really works well. Um, that means that uh, if they go one after another, one iStock individual might get all of them, and they might say, "Okay, I don't like any of these images, so I'm getting rid of it." They might be having a bad day. Uh, you might have you might have to be lucky, and so be having a great day, and might want to put every single one of those images up. Anyway, it's a little safer to do it every 30 minutes. But look here, you can also do it every 24 hours. You can have the images going up, and that also does mean that if you're reaching your limit to the amount of images you can put up in seven days, this will, all, the cool thing about this is that even if you have a lot of images, you can just let it go and wait for kind of like your your your, your queue, to, your limit to um, get back to where you can upload images. Anyway, we're gonna start the uploads. I put the minimal interval at 30 minutes. So it's gonna it's gonna ask me to agree to like their agreements. I'm a, you know, I'm exclusive, whatever. It's gonna ask you some questions, doesn't really matter. So it's gonna to check to see if I have any room available. I do. It's uploading the first image right now, but then it's gonna wait another 30 minutes to upload the next image. I'm sure there's more things you can learn about uh, this program, but this will give you the basics as far as how to use Deep Meta. It's awesome. You can upload a lot of images at one time. Hit the upload button. It's it's super solid. This program. Um, I've tried things that have, I've tried different products where they've been in Lightroom or whatever. They've timed out or crashed or whatever. DMET is what you want to use, and it's going to make your iStock experience better. And I hope to see you guys on the rich side of iStock. Peace out.